Hello everyone, I am Sitar. This is FreeCAD FEM. In this tutorial, we learn static analyze with composite bar. I am solving first example. Apply force of the bottom end of the metal bar and its other end is fixed. Here is the bar which are combined with three different kinds of material copper, zinc, and aluminium. Here is the area of bar and this is applied force on the bar and this is young modulus put this all value into this formula this is the change length of the bar let's go to solve this example in FreeCAD select part and select a new file and create three solid cubes I'm going to change the name of this cube. This is copper and this is zinc and this is aluminium. Now I'm going to change the dimension of this bar. This is 25, this is 20 and this is 150 this is 25 this is 30 this is 150 this is 50 this is 20 and this is 150 now I am use transform tool at 25 mm now I am use again transform Now use boolean fragment, check the geometry error, run the check, and we get compound 1, 3 solid and 3 cell, we need compound 0 and 1 solid 1 cell, then I use compound filter. Then I am going to check again, run the check, then I found compound 0, solid 1 and cell is 1. Now use FEM, create analysis, now choose material, use FreeCAD material editor. Change the mechanical property. Young modulus is 130 gigapascal. Now choose solid and add add copper. Now I'm change the material name. This is copper. Now choose again material. Use FreeCAD material editor and the young modulus is 100 gigapascal. Now select solid and select add button and select uh, zinc. Change the name of this material. This is zinc. Now choose again material, use free, use free CAD material editor, the young modulus is 80 gigapascal, this is aluminium. So I applied all three material on these three metals bar. Now I apply fixed constraint. And now I apply force. 
select this surface and select add button the force is 73850 now press ok now select again force and select this surface and select add button applied force is 85218 now i am use again force select this surface and select add button this force is 90900 this all force unit in newton now i am use mesh i am select g mesh change the element size this is 12 now double click on solver and write dot inp and select run now close it now double click on result select displacement magnitude we found the maximum value of displacement 0.17 now use post processing now select warp and choose the surface with edge choose field displacement magnitude and apply it press ok so here is the result i have solved my example thank you for watching video